Hello everyone, I'll change bit here. Today I'm going to demonstrate to you the Synthetic Sound Labs Segwencer, Segwencer 4. And right now I've got three different VCOs patched into the various channels. Um, this is actually uh, pretty much following the demo done by SSL on their, on their page, uh, YouTube or whatever. But anyway, uh, just another sequence doing kind of like the same thing. I'm using an Encore Electronics Universal Event Generator to be the depth in CV control. I found that when I use various LFO shapes it doesn't seem to keep it open all the time so the UEG definitely works well for that. And I've got the width about halfway, depth amount just enough to go up to the third channel and you'll you'll hear the same uh, volt proctive sequence going into each VCO. Each VCO is also going through a filter. The whole output is through a little bit of delay and reverb and then I'll add a little bit of percussion as it demonstrate musicality. Okay, next I'm going to do what I call ocean waves, uh, where I'm inputting four different sources of noise. Mixture of pink noise, white noise, a couple of them through different filters. I'm going to put it in peaks mode so it kind of goes through each channel. Not mixing them completely together like in the last demo. So here's ocean waves. Open up the width. And the depth.
So these are very sensitive controls and they obviously are influenced by the UEG that's feeding into it right now. And for my final setup, I have a bunch of oscillators, VCOs going in here, four of them. And some of them are in tune to the same node or different octave or whatever. And what I have this time driving the depth in CV is the tap tempo LFO using a sine wave. And in doing so, I'm, I'm doing the peaks mode. It's going to go up and down in, in the rate of the sine. So let's see how that goes. Beautiful.